Hello, bonjour, zdravete, welcome back to Monoglossia. Today I would like to share with you a review of my latest job, which was a translator of SAP software from English to Bulgarian. I worked as a translator of SAP software for the past two years and I have just quit this job because I have a large educational project um, in the planning. So of course I would like to give you guys information about this and similar job positions but also to be honest I just selfishly want to gather my thoughts and think about what I have got out of this job. In terms of just very general personal growth, yes, I would definitely say there has been some and I have a very basic, very non-job specific way of testing this. What I do is after some event or after some time passing, I look back at things I've done, things I've written that are work related, notes I've taken and I see if my way of thinking has changed. Basically it can range, range from, oh yes, I feel like I just wrote this even if I have written it years ago or I can feel like Oh wow, why, why did I write this? This is not what I would have done now if, if something really changed in my life. Um, and now when I look at things I've written before landing this job, I feel a lot of uh, changes and I think it's for the better. I feel like I, the way I write and the way I think by extension is more organized, I have an um, easier time making out what is really essential in a project. The translation experience itself as compared with other translation jobs, well it has been different. Um, some colleagues shared with me that uh, after years of working as a translator, starting work as a SAP translator really felt exciting for them. And I can understand why this was, although I had less experience than them working in the field of translation. Some of them have been in the field for maybe 20 years. Um, it's just, it has a fun, pleasing aspect to it just the way translation is made, like it's automated. Uh, you can use cut tools such as Trados, but not only Trados, there is, um, especially there is the native to SAP translation system that is very specific and it's just very satisfying sometimes. Let's say you need to translate a lot of text. The text is separated into sentences and you see that this particular sentence has already been translated and you just in a very, very satisfying manner just click on the translation that has already been made. To go further, you can check who translated the text uh, is it a colleague you trust? Um, when it was translated, was it too long ago? Could there be some change in terminology? You can check translations of the same text in different languages, which is also an amazing tool because uh, imagine the confusion that the English language might pose sometimes. Uh, for instance, there being the same word for a noun and a verb and then you only get a fragment of a sentence so you don't know if you're dealing with the noun or the verb but if you look at other languages then obviously this ambiguity disappears. Um, also let's say there is um, a word in English that has two very different meaning like an account can be a user's computer account or it can be a bank account 
but then you look at the other languages and you know right away which one of the two meanings uh, you need to consider because what are the odds of there being the same ambiguity in another language as well. Sometimes there is a very challenging um, instance of I have to just make use of all possible resources and decipher an abbreviation that makes absolutely no sense to me at this point. And it can be stressful, but it is also, it's, it goes beyond translation. It's uh, really, you need some practice, some skills, some logic. And at the end of the day, it's a cool experience. And I would have to note that this automation of translation is not without problems. For instance, uh, sometimes it's just obvious that it is a machine suggesting something rather than a person. Let's say you have to translate yes and then no, but what you get as first suggestion is yes means da, which is yes, but no is an abbreviation from number. So just, you know, sometimes Simple human logic is just not there. But sometimes this is just outright fun. Sometimes you get just some crazy suggestions. IT experience. Honestly, starting this job, I was hoping it would be useful for my IT career as well as my translator career. But maybe this was aiming a bit too high because even if there was an IT element to it, um, you know, it was nowhere near the experience as translator. Um, that is why actually having extensive IT experience was not a prerequisite for the job. This being said, uh, for one thing, I learned to type very fast in my native language, Bulgarian. Also, everything we had to translate was software, so it was structured the way software is, as in um, clear to the point, um, logically flowing, just everything you would have to expect from software. And then there would be the occasional translation of uh, what is very obviously a program, along with some terms that are used within programming. My language experience, well, just the sheer amount of text that I have gone through, of course, has improved my language and translation skills. So many terms, uh, so many complex words come way more naturally back and forth in Bulgarian and English that I think before that I would have really thought for a long time what was this word and I would have ended up explaining it in one language or the other rather than coming up with the right term right away. A downside is that many of these terms that I have learned so well by now are actually very much sub-specific and don't have much use in everyday life or in other types of translation. For instance, the word item is translated in Bulgarian as pozitia. And normally in language, I would never ever come up with this translation. I would say something like element. I just definitely would not say position. The fields within I enriched uh, my general vocabulary are, there's quite a lot of them. Just very basically speaking, it would be mostly business, but then it would go on to specific fields such as, um, I already mentioned IT, but even things like, um, if you wish, agriculture or uh, banking or the environment or chemistry, all of this would sometimes appear. And by sometimes, I mean quite a few times by now. So it's all very good experience to have when dealing with technical, formal translation. Something that I really enjoyed is the involvement of other languages as well. So like I said, I was translating only from 
English to Bulgarian. Maybe it has been only once or twice that I have done uh, Bulgarian to English, but although no other languages were directly involved, they were still involved all the time. And that is why speaking an additional language, no matter which one, was a prerequisite to getting the job. Like I mentioned before, uh, you can you have access to all translations of a particular chunk of text in all languages supported by SAP. And that's quite a few languages. So I would look at these all the time. I would use them to help myself, like I said before. But also it just, I would get used to seeing them. Um, and that was not just words, that was the way the grammar works as well. It is an experience that has extended my language knowledge in multiple languages. And I would see, for instance, how when I was in Bulgaria, I would more readily look at the Russian text because it's in Cyrillic and this would be of great help. But then spending some time in France, I would directly look at the French text because this was the one I felt most comfortable with at the moment. So it was always a bonus uh, for me to be able to look at all these additional languages. I wouldn't spend much time on that, of course I, wouldn't, I wasn't able to afford this, but at least with the periphery of my eye I was looking at the other languages all the time. After mentioning my knowledge of English and my knowledge of additional languages, I have to say that I improved my knowledge of Bulgarian as well and my appreciation of Bulgarian. I, as soon as I applied for the job, I saw that the focus was on Bulgarian. It's my Bulgarian grammar, okay, my Bulgarian vocabulary. And at first I was surprised, but now I really see the importance of all this uh, when you are a native speaker of the language, and especially if it's a language that is not spoken by many people. And finally, a note about my team. I know this is very specific to my case, uh, but I have to say something nice about the team because it has been great working with these people. Um, communication, even not work-related, but communication in relation to projects and translation has been just 10 out of 10. I knew I could always rely on them, both in terms of their readiness to help and to get involved and in terms of their knowledge and ability to help me out, especially given that most people had a lot of experience in the field. As a downside, when it came to communication uh, within a larger team, that is to say across languages, um, when there was something unclear that had to be clarified centrally, this could be improved, definitely. Okay, this was all that comes to mind. Any questions are welcome down in the comment section. So thank you very much. I hope this has been helpful for you. It has been helpful for me to think back of uh, this experience that I really enjoyed. So thank you guys and see you in another video. Bye bye.